Good morning, friends, and welcome back. This is the final product. This is how the table looks now. It's the after picture. While I was filming the before pictures, taking the before pictures and filming how I used the Americana chalky finish paint to cover this unwanted dresser, that's when my computer crashed. So I lost that whole clip. I'm going to start you off where the table is drying and we pick up with how to do this faux finish and the decoupage from here on out. The audio will also change a little bit because I'm speaking into a microphone now, whereas while I was editing, I was speaking into the camera. So thanks for coming back, guys. Here's where we'll pick up on this DIY video. And while my paint is drying, I'm going to take this aqua brush and links for these products will be below the video. I this aqua pen, which just has water in it. If you don't have one of these, you can use a paintbrush and just dip it in water. But I'm going to squeeze this and go around the napkin where I want to tear away the images. And I always suggest that you tear away these hard lines because they can stand out unless you're putting this image up against the edge. That's okay if you're going to do that. That's actually a good guide. So I'm going to do this, tear out about five of these blocks of images. By the way, you want to tear those edges away before you separate the napkin. Once the napkin is done, once you've separated whatever you need, then you can go to one of these reinforced edges and pinch the napkin and you should be able to pretty easily pull those layers apart. So I'll do this with the other pieces that I way, need. One thing that you'll want to do beforehand is make sure you find a pleasing pattern before you decoupage anything down. So I've noticed that right here that's where I would like to place this and I want it to go on an angle so that it looks like it's trailing upward. So now I have the pattern laid out the way that I want and this is the Americana napkin decoupage glue. I really recommend you go with napkin decoupage glue and this brand is because I use this one all the time but it is much thinner and it's especially good for when obviously when you're using napkins. So I'm going to apply the decoupage glue to the dry napkin and I'm going to be very careful to work from the center of each piece outward. And I've laid all my images out the way I want them to be. So now I will just decoupage these onto the surface. When you're working this way, always remember to reload your brush often. You don't want to drag the napkin so that it tears. And make sure you work from the center out and you just keep doing that all around. That's the best way to apply pieces like this. So I'm going to finish decoupaging this. So the decoupage glue has dried. You can see a little bit of this shininess around there. That's okay. I'm going to cover that with paint. Now what I'm going to do, and I think I've been procrastinating about this, is I have to mix a batch of paint that's large enough to cover this surface. And I want it to match, but I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a faux finish because this was the table that was all beat up and I'm trying to see there's a spot right here I can see it from here I don't know if you can see it in the camera there's a bit of a bump there so when I do this faux finish the colors are all going to match 
the colors in here and then it'll just look like the flowers have a little outline around them and I'll show you what I mean. But the reason I'm doing the full finish is because if there are any cracks or dents or anything in your table, the full finish can cover up a multitude of sins. So let me mix the paint now. Something that I forgot to mention is I am also using the Deco Art medium, uh, extender medium. And the reason that I'm using this is for, well, for one thing, I'm working on a larger surface. And because I'm blending, I want to make sure these paints don't dry out as I'm in the process of trying to make a seamless, smooth blend. So when you add this, it keeps the paint wet longer so that it doesn't dry out and you can continue to blend. So I'll be adding this as I'm working and mixing the paints together. used a couple of different brushes and the reason for that is because I was playing around to see what I like best and I recommend you do the same thing because you may like a softer look a more modeled look or you may like something that's a little bit more intense and I kept adding all of the colors that I worked with originally I would dip my brush into each separate color and apply strokes lighter, darker. Some of this is still wet, so I'm going to let it dry. Guess what? I forgot to tell you guys probably the most, one of the most important things about this project. After you apply the napkins, the first coat of decoupage and the napkins, let that dry, and then come back, apply another coat just over the surface of all of your napkins and make sure you get those edges down. And I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to come back and top coat it. I will put the dresser drawer back in along with the handle and we'll see how our finished piece looks. So this is going to take a little bit of time to dry and I'm going to rethink my top coat. I was going to put the triple thick, very rich deep gloss on here. But any time you use a very high gloss, the shinier the surface, the more it's going to show imperfections. And the whole reason that I did this faux finish was because your eyes will be drawn more to the faux finish than any flaws 
you might see in the table. So while the chips or dents or whatever there were in there were covered up perfectly, there are still a couple of spots. Let me see if you can see these. There are still a couple of spots right there. Uh, for everything else, you can see that it covered up the chips and scratches and things like that. And I think I'm going to put a flat top coat over it. It really has the look of an oil painting when you use the brush and the different colors like that. Make sure you experiment with your colors so that they don't get muddy. And what I'm going to do is leave this aside to dry now and then I will come back and take pictures of the final product. I'll show you which top coat I'm going to use and then we'll be all done. All right, friends, here is my finished decoupage little side table that we put the faux finish on to cover up any or most of the blemishes on the table. I also painted the inside drawer a color to match one of the colors up in the top. It's a little bit vivid, but that's just the inside. I painted the handle, and by the way, this is a very easy moving drawer, so I don't have to worry about this, but I used E6000 rather than put the screws back in, and you can't see it, but I, it's a little hard to see. I put a couple of crystals where the screws were supposed to go. So this is just fine for my purposes for this drawer. Depending on what you want to use your table for, you may want to look into getting some new hardware, some new knobs, or just use the ones that you have and paint them because you can put a top coat over those. And the rest of it has been chalk painted white to match the flowers here. And that is our project for the week. I love this Tiffany type blue paint. It's got a little bit of blue, a little bit of green in it. I will have links down below if I can find these napkins. I will post them for you. If not, some other good sources are. You can look on a page on Facebook called Decoupage Designs USA. There are a lot of sellers also on eBay. That's a really good place to find napkins in addition to decoupage designs. And another good thing is they sell them in packages of two or three so that you don't have to buy the whole package of 20 if you don't want to. I personally tend to find a napkin that I love and I will use it again and again and again. So I sell the full packages through my site. But I'll have the paints and the other links on there. Thank you for subscribing. Don't forget Upcycle with Decoupage is on Facebook. If you go over and like and follow the page, you'll be notified every time I put a new video out. And by the way, guys, it's a huge help to me when you share my videos through Pinterest, through Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, wherever you can. Thank you so much for doing that. I've met so many lovely people here on YouTube. I, I just can't express my appreciation enough. Thank you so much for keeping in touch with me and letting me know how you guys are feeling about the projects. So this is an excellent way to take an unwanted piece of furniture or something that you thought really needed to be discarded because it was a little bit too messed up and do a faux finish over it, play around with those faux finishes, use sea sponges, natural sponges, hard bristled brushes, soft bristle brushes, you can use rags, and you can even apply some paint and then take a piece of saran wrap and bunch it up and go all over the surface because that will leave some interesting designs in there too. So you can play around with all of those. I will see you guys shortly with another video. Hope you had a wonderful Happy New Year. I will be back soon. Thanks guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>